Hey, babe. How are you doing, babe? I'm cool, love. It's out now. Have no problem. It's just the traffic coming to work was hectic. No, I'm working in the afternoon. Madam Hoka, honey, take it easy. You work too much. Huh? Okay, fine. Thank you. I'll take it easy. Um, I'll call you later, love. I've got to go. <coughs> I go love you. No, no, you get your mouth. Was that what you on the line? Mm mm, darling, too. Be serious for once now. Of course, it was Uche. Who else would I be calling love? See, eh? you guys should complete this love series, eh? I want to do Maid of Honor. It's not a Maid of Honor you will do. It's Maid of House. <laughs> are you joking or what? Hey, God forbid. It's not me, are you? See, eh? I want to do Maid of Honor, not Maid of the House. Tina, please, I'm not ready for your banter this morning. I am busy. Shut me, I don't talk my own, eh? Too quick, marry this fine boy, you. Before they will clap come up for your hands, you. Tina, what exactly can I do for you this morning? I am busy. Anyways, um, head of quality control is waiting for you at the boardroom. Oh yeah, come and go. I, I should go. Yes, thanks for your concern. Yeah. Just a friendly advice. Thanks for your concern, be going. I'll be on my way. Okay. Dad, good evening. Lara, welcome. How was work today? My day was horrible. The compounded traffic was hectic. Oh, sorry. Just go in, get a shower, and get something to eat. Have a rest. Thank you, Daddy. I'll do just that. Have you eaten? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I've sorted myself. Uh, in fact, I kept some spark for you in the kitchen so you can microwave it after your shower, right? Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad in the world. Let me sip wine, please. Okay, then. All right. Thank you. Oh. Really good. Mm, that's even nicer than my one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, you're right. Yeah, I told you now, your food is nice. Do you want to that more? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm actually full. Okay. As I've always told you, you have to make out time for lunch, no matter how hectic your schedule is. I know, love, but if you walk where I walk, you just don't know when time flies. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't find time to eat now. Yeah. Hey, when is your uncle coming back from Abuja? Oh, um... Next week or so. Yeah. And that reminds me, yes, he's really eager to meet you. Oh, I can't wait to meet him too. Right? Ah, but you know, since I started this is Abuja thing, Ah, it's just been so hectic for me. He has left all the operations at the office for me to handle. But I'm sure you're proud of him. Proud of him for what? That all those Abuja politicians are going to eat all his hard-end money. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, trust you not to leave all his business operations with you now. Oh, well, <clears throat> you can say that. Um, before I forget, I'm going to see my auntie. Mommy twins tomorrow. It's been a while I visited her. Okay. Do you want me to come along? Mm-mm. Mm it won't be necessary. Oh. I'm welcome. Oh, God. Now you can share this one now. Send me well to her when you go, Sha. Sure. I know. Eh, <laughs> Mama Maka. No, 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 I have 20 bills of that um, design left too. Eh? Come in. It's in the shop now. The ones I have here are old design. 
No. Ah, no, 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 no. I will get it for you by next week. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Ah, mommy. Hmm? Yeah, this is your business, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do? You know, even with that thought that I should double my hustle. And you know, I'm a widow. And I have to pay school fees and every other thing. May God bless your hustle. Ah, me, oh. I is your father. He's fine. Hmm. Do you know that your father has not visited me or called me throughout this year? What is wrong with you and daddy? I don't understand. Clara, it's me you're asking. Is it not him that you should ask? If that has been avoiding your late mother's uh, family thing. You know, my God will settle your mother's baby. I know. Hey, that's James and John. How did you in boarding school? <laughs> hey, hey! Those ones. All they do is just ask me for money. Give me order like this, and me, I will pay. As if I have money making machine at my back here. Yeah. Oh, please, oh, please, just leave my cousins alone. They are good boys. Eh, hey, okay. You know what? All of you just cook my kill me. Finish me. <laughs> Nobody is killing you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> mommy, don't buy fabric. Show me latest fabric now. Make yeah. sure that I will do See, I'm expecting you. There's one particular one that I will give you. See, you will like it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's always. I don't want to <laughs> Hey, my mother, please, cut it for me. I don't like it. Uh, what do you want to eat? Um, I'm actually full, but I can't say no to yours. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll get you. Okay. Man, <laughs> I tell you, it wasn't funny. <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is funny because why would someone be looking for a car in the gutter? Meanwhile, he left it at his girlfriend's place. Uh uh. That's what um, irresponsible drinking does to the man. <laughs> <laughs> but then, what happened the very next day when the girlfriend returned the car? So, by the time he drank clear from his eyes, he had to run away from his home for three days. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. It would have been war. It was. <clears throat> hey, yeah. When we get to the office, please remind me. I, I want us to stop by at um, Praxis Consultant so we can discuss a platinum brief. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I will. I yeah. definitely will. Because I don't want Uncle Ian Aya coming back from Abuja and I don't have any updates for him. Yeah, that's related, well. Okay. Uh, but then, that's her idea. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, guess what? I'm planning to settle down with her soon. <laughs> Fantastic news. Yeah. So have you popped the question? Not yet, not yet. Um, I'll be doing it very soon. And you're going to be the one to help me with the no, I've got you surprise party. Now. My G, I was at your service now. Yeah. And you should take a cue from me and get serious with Cynthia, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Where, 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 where is that one coming from? Guy, you think that you're old. Don't allow this your body to deceive you. You don't wow. old. You're getting old, man. <laughs> nah, babe, calm down. I think they sound the flex. Look on the swimmer market, that's going to be very good. All right. <laughs>
Hey. How you doing? Okay. Your the hangover isn't too bad. Uh-huh. Not really. <laughs> you could barely walk last night. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. your your laptop bag um, is inside the car. Oh, really? You left it. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it over later. Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you later, okay? Take care, then. Love you. Love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come in. Babe, now you serve. Uh, were you expecting somebody? Oh, oh my gosh, you have biscuits. Oh. I don't finish my biscuit. Oh. I'm so hungry. What do you have in the house? Didn't you drive past here to my mother when you were coming? I know you are hungry. You want me to buy you food? I'm just too proud to say it. Look at how he's talking. You pounced on my biscuit as soon as you got it. And you are crying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I am not to be serious. I'm hungry. Do you cook? Do you have in the kitchen? Anything at all? I have nothing at home. But um, you can go out to go grab something to eat when I'm done with this movie. But yeah, they won't pay you. I know that one. Okay. Well. Madam Prebees, I know you like free things. Are nah, you savvy? Who doesn't like free things? Um, Tina, there's something really bothering me. I'll, I'll like to discuss with you. And I'm so confused. What is it, babe? Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. It's, it's, it's so serious and, and I'm, I'm just so confused. <laughs> what is it now? Are you pregnant for Uchi? Tina, please be serious for once. Okay, okay. I am serious. So what is it that is disturbing my ever life with Clara? Talk to me. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to say it, but... Tina, I... I think my... my... Father raped me. Jesus. What did you just say? He said, I think my father raped me. My God. This can't, can't be true. I, are, you, are you sure? <laughs> the thing is, I can recall it not vividly, but. Well, I know somebody raped me. I mean, I, I can't be hallucinating. I I know someone raped me. Are you sure it's your father? It's just the both of us in the house, right? I mean, who else could it be? Clara, girl, you need a counselor. You need a counselor for this. I don't want it escalated. I'm not even sure he's the one. But you just said it. You just said you both live alone in that house. So who else? Who, who else could it be? Do you think I should confront him? No, no. You, you need a counselor first. You need to talk to a counselor first. First. Or better still, do you think I should tell Uchi? No. I don't advise that. I don't I don't start for that. No, no. You're not telling Uche. Tina, why, 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 why me? I, I just 
Don't worry, it's, it's, it's will pass. It's, this face will pass. Come on, don't cry. I just hope it's a dream. Don't, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's a face. It's, just, it's going to pass, okay? You said you think your father raped you. How sure are you? Like I said, ma, it, it's just the both of us living together in the house. I'm sorry for asking how sure you are, because in my years of experience as a therapist, I've heard and seen a lot that some were the truth and some were just pure lies. I understand, Ma, and, and that's why I've come to seek your advice. If I may ask, where is your mother? She's late. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So how long have you lived with your father? For 10 years now since my mother passed. Okay, and uh, if I may ask, how close are you to your father? I mean, um, communication-wise. We're very close. Miss Clara, you may have to confront your father on this issue. What if he denies it? That I don't know. You may also have to inform the police about this incident. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of this controversy. You know, the social media interest it may generate. <sighs> what, do, what do I tell the police I, mm. that my father raped me? Mm. My dear, you just have to. And um, let me ask, have you gone to the hospital for medical checkup? <sighs> yes, and I am clean. Okay, that's very good. Um, like I said earlier, you still have to confront your father about this issue and at the same time report the incident to the police. It's very important. Oh God, please help me. Once you have done that which I asked you, see me again for another session. Laura. Laura, what did the counsellor say? See now when I get to the car I'll tell you. Let's just get into the car please. Okay, okay. <sighs> Babes, you've been quiet since we entered the car. What did the counselor say? She wants me to confront my father, Tina. Ha! Since you're not sure, wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be what? I'm not hallucinating. He raped me. Okay, let's follow what the counselor said then. She wants me to report the incident to the police. Ha! <sighs> this is getting serious. I swear. I don't know, I'm just so confused. Sorry. <sighs> Welcome, Clara. We are a bit late today. Oh, no problem. You look disturbed. Why? Daddy, why? I, 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 I don't understand, Clara. Why 
Why did you rape me? I can't deny it. I know it's you. You raped me. But why? 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 We have to report this incident to the police. I can't, Uche. I cannot. He's my father. I understand he's your father. But we are talking about rape here. What if he does it to another girl? I can't, okay? I'm not, I'm not ready for all the media mess. Uche, I'm going through a lot of torture psychologically and I do not want to add to it. I am hurting too. This man raped my fiance. I'm, I'm hurting. But we have to report this incident to the police. We no, have to. no. Ah. I'm not involving the police. I'm just going to confide in my auntie and ah. heal my own way. Abomination, who did that to you? Hey! Amadiora will strike him down. Mommy, Shh. I don't like seeing you in this thing. What do you want me to do? And I want Adobe not to marry you. Eh? Now look at what he has done to you. Mommy. What is mommy? Eh, what is mommy? I knew that dude was a bad person. Eh? I knew, I told Adora not to. He killed Adobe. Now look at you. Eh? See, Amadiora will strike him down. I'm not sure I was taking it. The law would take his call. We must report him to the police. No, no, mommy, I can't. I can't report that to the police. <laughs> Clara, see if he has judged you. Eh, I remove that judge from you. We will report him to the police. Eh, the, 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 the law must take his call, and God must punish him. You don't want us to report. You want the weekend to go. Mommy, police. I leave that it to God. To judge. Which God? It's not only God that will judge him. The police self will judge him. We will report him to him, and he will rot him. And I'm not sure that I will strike him dead. Hey, Turu! Turu, I knew it all. I knew you were bad luck to this family. I knew it! Ah! Hey. And have you gone for medical? Yes, mommy, and there's, there's nothing. Thank God for that one. Whether you like it or not, we will report him to the police. The law must take his course. Ah! Sorry, my dear. Hey, Turu! Juru, I'm not gonna strike you. Juru, hey. If she doesn't report this case to the police, I will. Uche, please be calm. Clara does not want the media publicity that accompanies this case. She wants to deal with this in her own way. Deal with it now. What if he does it to another lady? Are you thinking about that? We can't keep quiet. Devils like this need to be put away. Have you considered the emotional and psychological torture she's going through right now. She is seriously hurting. I know. I know she's hurting. I know. But she's a strong lady and she will pull through. 
but we can't abhor evil. Personally, I think we should just respect her wish. Why can't you even see that reporters replace is protecting her and others? Why can't you see it? <sighs> you know what, I'll drop you off. Good afternoon. Good day, sir. How may I help you, gentlemen? Are you Mr. Duru Okechuku, sir? Yes, I am. I am Sergeant Timothy from the Nikoko Police Station, and this is my colleague, Sergeant Regina. Sir, you are under arrest for rape and sexual assault and committing of a crime of incest against Miss Clara Duru. Ah, <laughs> uh, officer. I am being wrongly accused. Miss Clara Duru, you are talking about, she's my daughter. Well, I cannot do such thing. Sir, you have the right to remain silent. At this point, anything you say or do shall be used as evidence against you in a court of law. Oh, well, I will follow you. But can you allow me to call my lawyer and let me dress up to unlock the door? We'll give you that respect, sir. Thank you very much. Joseph, come in. Wait. Uche, why? Why? Uche, why, Uche? What's the problem? Why are you bent on complicating my life? Hey, wait, please calm down. Please don't, don't try to play dumb or act like you don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. What is it? Why did you rip on my father's head, please? <sighs> oh, well, I won't deny it. I reported that devil to the police. Yes, I did. Why? Why? Why are you bent on exposing me to the world? Why? <laughs> Big babe, listen. I love you, and I want the best for you. What I did was for our own good and the good of the society. What I know, no, what I know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Uncle? I saw. Dustin's a. Ah, uh, so, um, when did you come back from Abuja? Uh, yesterday evening. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you about my lover. Okay, no, it's fine. Fine. What is the update on our platinum brief? Don't we worry too much. I'm on top of things, okay? Things are looking good. Ah, uh, good. Please keep me posted on every development. I will, I will. So, how did your meeting go? Uh, it went well. You know how we politicians behave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um... Could there's something I would come to see you later to discuss. Wait. I hope you have not messed up on any of our deals. Bano, Bano. Oh, trust me, this one is... It's personal. Okay. No problem. You can come and see me. Okay. Thank you. All right, much. let me allow you. Okay. No. Well, Mr. Clara, what makes you think that your father raped you? So I just told you that I think my father raped me. What else do you want me to say? 
Well, I'm just trying to get the facts that you are not acting on suspicion, but on facts. So it's just the both of us living together. No one else lives with us. Well, you told me that one earlier, but can you please narrate, tell me everything, how it happened, and what makes you feel that it's your father that raped you? Tell Pican that Thursday evening. Babes, how far down? Are you true already? Yep. So, where are you headed to? Home, of course. And I'm very tired. Like, today has been hectic. My bed and a cold shower are calling out for me. Oh, my God. My babes has lost their vibes. I think who do you this thing now? What do you mean? You have people don't get you small, small, low. Have you forgotten that tonight is vibes that are the club? Tina, no, I've not forgotten, but I'm just tired. Please, I need all the rest I can get. Give me a good tell that one, Abe. Eh? You need to lose enough. All work and no party. Make someone an old lady. Tina, don't do this to me now. Hey, I'm tired. You won't grow older on me. Come on. We're going to the club to have a nice time. You just don't give up, do you? When it comes to partying, gist and free drinks, you are there, number one. Now you, sir, Abe. <laughs> Don't worry, the drinks are on me this time around. I'm paying. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> yes, now. What happened? My friend has repented. You're paying for drinks tonight. What do you mean? Yeah, I beg, let's go. You're not serious. <laughs> no, you're going to tell me that man that gave you money that you want to use to pay for drinks for us. I'm a boy. See? No, no, no. You no, want, no, I beg, no. You want to get this? Mm. Let's go. Mm, you're paying for drinks. <laughs> wow. We had a lot to drink that night. I just don't know how that energy came by that night. I danced and danced like never before. Don't you think you have any lot to drink that night may make you Hallucinate about being raped? Sir, I am mature enough to know my limits. I'm not hallucinating. I was raped. Please continue your story. That night I was tipsy. But I was still conscious. Che didn't want me to drive myself, so he drove me home in my car.
my story. Forgot to kill. That's what I said to kill. Well, madam, not to worry. We will carry out thorough investigation. Please do. And definitely justice will be served. Let's have it. Good afternoon, Uncle. They said I'll find you here. Yes, I just went to meet in here. But come, you promised to show up yesterday and I waited for you all through without seeing you. Uncle, I'm sorry. Okay, but something came up, something very important that I had to attend to. What could be more important for you to keep your uncle waiting? Uncle, it's about Clara, my fiance. You mean the Clara I am yet to meet? Yes, but uncle, it's not my fault. Your frequent trips to Abuja have made it almost impossible for me to introduce her to you. Oh, uh, really? Hmm. Okay, so what is wrong with our dear Clara? Because she... She was raped. By her father. What? That's wicked and barbaric. Yes, it is. That's racist. What a wicked world we live in. Come, hope she has reported to the police. Yes. He has been arrested. He's going to face the full wrath of the law. Yeah. How is Clara holding on? Her things must be so difficult for her. I don't know, cool. Frankly, I don't know how she's managing. But she's trying. This is so serious. <sighs> so how was your trip to Abuja? Oh, it went very well. Uh, things are looking so good. <laughs> Come, how far with our platinum brief? Oh, I'm, I'm on top of it. Everything is on schedule. I, I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's fine, sir. Oh, go be on my way now. Yes. Have a lovely day. Thank you so much. Peace, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. you come in? Babes, I'm not happy seeing you like this. Songs are already wagging in the office. I don't understand. You need a break. I think it's high time you took your annual leave. Mm -mm, no, I don't need to leave out. I'll be fine. You need one, seriously. You're a shadow of yourself. And people are already peddling rumors in the office. What rumors? I heard Priscilla tell me you're doing on the HR that you'd be moody all week because your boyfriend dumped you. <laughs> Tina, that's your business. Babe, but seriously, you need a break from work to heal. Please. Okay, fine, I've heard you. I'll, I'll get a break. You sure? Okay. There you go. Thank you, Cheryl. Glass. You know, it's a bachelor's house, so <laughs> that's all I have. <sighs> so, babe, how are you holding up? I'm fine, thank you. I'm 
topic before I forget, would you follow me to the details office next week? Yeah, sure now. You, you, you didn't have to ask, you know I'll do anything for you. <laughs> God, why no? Oh. Yeah. Let me check who's the door. Come on. Oh. Ah. ah, Uncle. <laughs> Welcome. Who's ah, ah, this is a surprise. You didn't tell me you were coming. Well, um, it's even a good thing you're here. Because Clara is around. Good day, sir. Yeah, my fiancé I've been telling you about. Clara, my uncle. And that's her friend, Tina. Good day. Good day, my daughter. Uh, how are you? Fine, sir. And you? Yeah, I'm good. I can see my son has eye for good things. <laughs> <laughs> my son, let's go. I'll be like this, baby. Right back. <laughs> so, I actually came to drop this file with you. Okay. I'm heading back to Abuja next week. Okay. So, oh, Uncle, but you like her? <laughs> you can't marry that girl. Why? She's a damaged goods. I don't understand what you're saying. It is an abomination for you to marry a girl defiled by her own father. Oh, you can't say that. I'm not the one talking. It is a tradition that is talking now. Well, I love Clara. And I'm not about to dump her now that she needs me the most. You love Clara? You can't go against the dictate of our tradition. Well, I'm sorry. But I'm not going to dump her. It is my decision, and that is final. <laughs> my son. My son. My son. I hope it won't be too late for you before you realize your foolishness. Yeah, so how are you ladies doing? Okay, we're fine. Um, has your uncle left? Um, yeah, yeah, he... He had to go attend to these political meetings and business things that he always talks about. Uh, you know, just give me a moment. Let me attend to this. I'll be right back. Okay. What's up, man? You've been moody ever since I got here. Your only companion has been that glass. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I've just got stuff on my mind. Everyone has got stuff on your mind. I know. What's it, bro? Talk to me. It's complicated. Life is complicated, so please, speak up. It's my uncle. What is it between you and your uncle? Uncle Leinaya is fanning the sentiments of culture and tradition. I don't understand. He doesn't want me to get married to Clara. Are you joking? Why? That's why I said it's complicated. Man, this is the third time you're telling me it's complicated. What exactly is complicated? Is it Clara or your uncle? You don't understand. Make me understand because I don't see any reason whatsoever would, that would make your uncle tell you not to get married to Clara after two years of relationship. That is, that is the thing I don't understand. Hmm. I better make him, make him understand though. 
because it's not at this time and age that parents detect for people on who to get married to. It's fine though. Um, I'll talk to him. I'm sure he'll change his mind. He's probably just busy or he's facing pressure from his political trips to Abuja every time. Political trips or not, he had better change his mind. I wish your father was still alive. Well, enough of me. How are things with you and your babe? Uh, she's fine. Just that her normal for now and national anthem is married, married, married. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, you will blame her now. Come on. We're not getting any younger. And besides, she's a lady. You know, they have their biological clock ticking. <laughs> so. As for me, I am not ready for marriage yet. Bro. Bro. Don't say my guy. Don't go and lose a good lady. So over this year, oh, I'm not ready to marry. I'm not ready to marry talk. I'll give you a quick update. Cynthia loves me and that's on TV. Man, in fact, let's forget about these live talks and marriage. It's actually getting boring. I want to thank you for coming at this very short notice. DPO, when will Duru be arranged? Soon, ma'am. But I have a story for you all. It all started on a Thursday night. Maybe you go tell that one, Abe, eh? You need to lose enough. All work and no party. Make someone an old lady. I don't do this to me now. Hey, I'm tired. You won't grow older on me. Come on. We're going to the club to have a nice time. Everything. You just don't give up, do you? When it comes to partying, gist and free drinks, you are there, number one. Now you, sir, B. <laughs> Don't worry, the drinks are on me this time around, I'm paying. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> yes, now. What happened? My friend has repented, you're paying for drinks tonight. What do you mean? Eh? I beg, let's go. You're not serious. <laughs> no, you're going to tell me that man oh, that gave you money that he wants you to pay for drinks for us. I'm a boy. See? No, move, move, you want, move. I beg, move. you want to get this. Mm. Let's go. Oh, you're paying for drinks. <laughs> wow. Had a lot to do that night. We danced and danced like never before, just like you said. Slightly tipsy that night. Uche won't allow you to drive that night. Instead, drove you home himself in your car. But what he did not observe that night was that an SUV was parked some few meters near your father's gate.
behind your father that night was a man locking in darkness with the aim of perpetrating evil. What are you talking about, DPO? I'm, I'm confused. You can't. Let me finish this story. Miss Claire, the father did not reveal. Then who did? <laughs> Chief A. Naya, No, 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 no. That's my, that's my uncle. Officer, surely there must be a mix-up. There's no mix-up anywhere, Chief. The Nigerian police are seen prove the lot. And with the aid of the technology we deploy these days, we perfect our investigations. Uncle. Okay. Why? Tell me this is a lie. <laughs> Chief, you will rot in jail. Okay. And you also rot in hell. Evil, devil! Deep you. I don't understand. Why wasn't I conscious? As at the time I was being raped. You were unconscious because... No. You was being paid to act that part that night. But Chief do know that you will be coming to the bar that day. That is why everyone has to be careful while eating in public places or drinking. Okay. I see. It all connects clearly now. I'm, I'm confused. What, what connects clearly? Babe, remember the Thursday nights that we both went out to the club to have a nice time? Yes. Remember, you were surprised I paid for all the drinks. Your father sent me money and asked me to take you out for us to go have a girl's a nice time out because according to him, you walked so much and you hardly enjoy yourself. Why? Why? Why would my father want to connive with Chief to destroy me, destroy my life? I... I think you had it all planned out. Knowing fully well, I can convince you to go to the club. Jeez. I told you. I told you that that man is dead. Both of them should rot in jail. Chief and Duru should rot in jail. Miss Clara, you need to be strong at this time because this is when it's becoming tricky. What do you mean, DPO? We will charge in Chief Inaya to court for it. Meanwhile, your father. Chief Duru and the barman will be charged as assets to this story. That one is good now. It's fine. Justice must be served. Both of them should rot in jail. <sighs> Dipio. Yes. Sir, please, can you do me a favor? What is it? I would like to see my father. Ah, Clara, no, no. Clara, don't go and see that devil. Don't go and see that devil again, please. 
Mommy, mommy, let's just say it's important, please. Let's help. <sighs> Sir, please. I would like to see my father. Are you really sure you want to see him? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I will arrange that. Please forgive me, Clara. Please. Daddy, why? I'm so sorry. Clara, please forgive me. I still don't understand. Why would you agree with your friend to ruin the life of your only daughter? The quest for money and power. Let me do all this. Please forgive me, Clara, please. You are welcome, Chief. Hey, thank you, my friend. <laughs> so I, family, business and everything going. Ah, we thank God everything is okay. Just the issue of the bandits that is disturbing our country. Nobody is safe. But our military men are trying their best. Military? Yes. In fact, leave that one. I came here to discuss something very important with you. Okay. It is time for the sacrifice. And the Oracle has chosen your daughter. Prepare the sacrifice. Why, why, why must the oracle choose my daughter? You of all people should know better. The oracle has a final say over everybody's matter. <laughs> well, but me no but, Mr. Duru. Need I remind you how you renew your own covenant of longevity by sleeping with Ishi, a daughter's daughter? Can't there be an alternative? Mm. Prepare the sacrifice. A word is enough for the wise. I think I should get out of this place. Good day. Chief! Chief! Was it really worth it? Not at all, my daughter. I regret ever joining a secret court. Please forgive me. I don't even know what to say. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Oh, thank you. Forgive me, Clara. Forgive me, please. Thank you for destroying my life, Dad. Please forgive me. Why all this at this time? Huh? What has my uncle gotten himself into? The media attention to all this will not only damage his political ambition, it will also ruin the family name. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Why were you not taking your calls? Nothing, I've just been busy. Busy with several bottles of alcohol. Which I don't know you to be this person. What is the problem? Do you want to kill yourself? Nothing. I am fine. Let's keep the chin. We're going to need to open what's the Would you talk to me? Thank uh -huh. 
we're in a mess. I don't understand. How many persons are in this mess? What I'm about to tell you must not get out in any way. And I mean it. Okay, you can trust me with it. My uncle is in police custody for rape. What? This is strange. It's not strange. It's not strange. What is strange is when I tell you who he raped. I don't understand. Who did he rape? Clara. 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 Which Clara? My fiance. Lord have mercy. Oh my God. You see why I say we're in a big mess? This is a huge scandal. How did it happen? I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. Uche, this must not get to the media by any means whatsoever. <laughs> If this gets to the media or the case finds its way to the court, my uncle's political career is doomed not to talk about the fact that my family's name is tarnished. By the way, how is Clara? She will be devastated. She's a shadow of herself. Clara is a shadow of herself. Uche, this must not get to the media. The media must not have the wind of it at all. Also, you need to ensure that it stays out of court. It will be too devastating. I'm just confused, man. <sighs> confused. Okay. I think I have an idea. You will have to appeal to her. So that she doesn't testify. If she doesn't testify, there will be no conviction whatsoever. And you also need to ensure that the police doesn't take this to court. Why did we? Have you? Caught your lawyers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, trying to get him out of bail based on recognition. Hmm. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Hmm. But then this is not the time for you to be Paul Moody. So how do you feel now that you know the true culprit who raped you has been arrested? It makes no difference, ma. I was still violated. Yes. But I'd like you to see it from the perspective that the private has been apprehended. Ma, do you know it was my fiance's uncle that raped me? My father connived with the rapist to destroy my life. I know, my dear. So how do I heal from this psychological torture? You will heal, Miss Clara. You will definitely heal. But how? We can't stop people from hurting us. But we can heal faster by responding positively to these hurts. My dear, do not allow this to bring you down. Move on 
Do not allow these thoughts to define who you are. But Ma, it, it hurts. I know. <laughs> what if I told you that my uncle raped me at age 18? Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> and I didn't have the courage to report like you did. That's bad. That's why I'm commending you for doing the right thing. Thank you so much for speaking out. Reporting a rape case is not an easy thing to climb. The odds are always stacked against the victim. You're very correct, ma'am. Please, my dear, it's time for you to heal and move on. I never allowed my own episode to dictate my future. I'm a better person today because I channeled that heart towards positive things. So what do you want me to do? Babe. I want us to forgive all wrongs and move on. I don't understand. Please don't testify against your father and my uncle. Why, if I may ask? That's it this way. The media hype surrounding this thing could be devastating. Not to talk about the effect it's going to have on my uncle's political ambitions. Okay, I just feel that the aftermath of this will not be too good for our families in the future. But you can even hear yourself. I was raped. And do you even know what it means to be raped and humiliated? Maybe I know, but, but... No, you don't. If you did, we would not be having this conversation. I'm sorry. I know how this must feel for you, but I beg you, just don't do this. I beg you in the name of God, please. In the name of God, how convenient it is for you to talk about forgiveness and telling me not to testify against your uncle now that the pedulum has shifted. I'm sorry, but I beg you, please, don't do this. Come to think of it, I did not want this matter to escalate. I always said I wanted to heal my own way. But you would not let me be. You were the one who reported to the police. Because you thought it was my father that raped me. Now that you know that it's your uncle, your stance have changed. I know, but just understand what I'm saying, please. I beg you. I don't think you love me, Uche. If you did, if you did, you won't be telling me not to put those devil's alternatives behind bars. I have made up my mind. I'm going to testify against them in court. And if my father goes down for it, 